Is dairy products really that good for a type 2 diabetes? Or what if I don't have diabetes? Is dairy still good for me? Let's dive into it. One of the biggest sources of fat actually comes from dairy products. Dairy products used to have a helpful reputation, but now, because of research, it has changed. Dairy products is actually one of the biggest source of saturated fat, which is fat fat. And they also contribute to cholesterol and for the fat-free varieties, a lot of lactose as well. Let's break down dairy into dairy fat, dairy protein, and dairy lactose or dairy sugar. So in terms of dairy fat, 49% of cow's milk actually is made up of fat. And you may think, well, I drink 2% milk, so it's lower in fat. So it's actually not true. Even though it's lower in fat compared to the full fat, it is still pretty high in fat. It actually consists of 35% of fat, even if it's 2% milk. And most of it is saturated fat, which is linked to insulin resistance and increased cholesterol. Typical yogurt, ice cream, and sour cream products are also high in fat as well. And cheese is loaded with it. Most brands have cheese more than 70% of calories derived from fat. All right, now let's talk about dairy sugar. What about fat-free dairy milk? There's no fat in it, right? The fat-free variety actually is loaded with lactose. 55 percent of the calories that comes from fat-free milk is actually from lactose, which is a milk sugar. If you have diabetes and you're trying to avoid soda, it might be a good idea for you to avoid milk as well. Another thing is lactose actually upsets a lot of people's stomach. People used to think that lactose intolerance is an abnormality, but more and more research shows that as a person grows up, lactase, the enzyme to process lactose, is actually less and less in production. And therefore, when you're an adult, lactose intolerance is actually pretty common for a lot of people. Now let's talk about dairy proteins. Some experts are discovering potential contribution of dairy protein to type 1 diabetes, and animal proteins appear to accelerate the gradual loss of kidney function in people with diabetes, and we all know that dairy protein is a type of animal protein. Plant-based proteins actually don't have that effect. People also report that once they remove dairy from their diet, they're seeing less migraines and less rheumatoid arthritis. And experts see that what actually triggers them may be the dairy protein. Two large Harvard studies and several other studies from other countries have shown that milk drinking men, men who drink milk, actually have a higher risk of prostate cancer compared to those men who generally avoid milk or dairy products. And so in conclusion, milk selling point was always calcium, but there's a lot of other more healthful sources of food where you can get your calcium. Tofu, tempeh, dark leafy greens, chickpeas, kidney beans, and white beans are great sources of calcium. And if you'd like to learn more about reversing type 2 diabetes, make sure you check out my free training. Link is in the description below. And if you'd like to work with us, you can check out our Deactivate Diabetes Academy, which is our self-paced 100% online program. Or if you'd like to work with me and my team, you can check out our Reversing Diabetes System. Link is also in the description below. I'll see you guys later.